guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Emily. And today is the day that as soon as I'm done with work, I am headed to the airport and I am going to see my best friend in Texas. I am so excited because I'm finally going down to Texas. One of my best friends that you guys met in one of my other vlogs that I have talked about recently named Kylie moved to Texas when we were... I want to say in like eighth grade, but we've been friends since we were literally too young to even remember meeting and I'm going to see her. I'm going from tonight, Wednesday to Sunday and I am still going to be working um, just from her house tomorrow and Friday. So we're going to have a very productive next two work days, but then this weekend we're going to have some fun and she's one of those people that I've been friends with for so long that even though I have to work tomorrow and Friday, like it'll just be nice to be able to see her and do stuff with her you know tomorrow night after I get off work and Friday night after I get off work so we're still gonna have a great time it'll be a good little trip so I wanted to take you guys along with me if you have not already make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so that you never miss when I post a new video I am just in my Justin Bieber sweatshirt that I literally never take off actually I haven't been wearing it as much recently but it's just so comfy um, and then some of my Lululemon Align dupe leggings and not the real ones they're the amazon ones because why get one for a million dollars when you can get like three for the same price that you would buy one but this is what i've had on all day i'm going to wear this to the airport i just took a quick break from work to get some water so i figured i would sit down and fill you guys in but i have about an hour left of work and then i am leaving and headed to the airport i also need to take my makeup off i just put on some bb cream um i didn't really do any makeup today but I had some video calls so I wanted to look a little bit presentable but since I'm gonna have a mask on the whole time in the airport and in the plane I wanted to take my makeup off because whether I have makeup on or not my face hates having a mask on it um, all day and so I want to make sure to remember to take it off before I leave also not to keep blabbling but look at these freaking nails they're so cute they're longer than what I normally do them but you know, we had to go all out for when I went to Texas. So I'm so excited. I love them so much and I think they're adorable. But I'm gonna get back to work um, for the rest of the day and then I am headed to the airport and probably next time I talk to you guys, I will be with Kylie and I'm so excited. All packed up with my Bay's Weekender bag and Adrian Vitadini tiny little carry-on, but I'm obsessed with it and we are ready to go. Hello guys, I'm with Kai. Um, it is a whole 4.30 the next day because I had to, so we got in, we got in, yep, you came with yep. me. <laughs> um, I got in last night, my plane landed at like 11 and then we literally came back to her house and went straight to bed because we were exhausted and um, she had homework to do today and I had to work still because I said at the beginning of the vlog like I'm still working today and tomorrow. Um, so I got off at 4.30 because I switched time zone so it's technically 5 30 like at my apartment anyways but we are now headed to go to starbucks and to the mall and whataburger because we don't have those where i live and i'm <laughs> very very excited for this so i'm excited to actually get out of the house i we literally did nothing today i mean i had a very productive work day but We've been in my bedroom all day. All day, just all day. chilling. But I mean, that's what you do with friends that you've been friends with forever. It doesn't care if you just, it doesn't care. Can I English today? Yeah. It doesn't matter we if you just sit. We haven't really spoken spoke today. Time. Yeah, we've literally no. just spoken to each other and probably half of that's not English. So. Yeah. I love, where'd you get that? Sure. Discovery. What? Do you think Discovery would sell Justin Bieber? They that and him us. flipping you off. I know, no, I got it from Etsy. Oh, it was yeah. probably just some random person no, that slapped I... a picture on a t-shirt. <laughs> probably. I um, had this shirt, that friend's shirt from H&M. Mm -hmm. And I like wish that every t-shirt that I had would fit like that because it's the best shirt, yeah. shirt ever. It's like super oversized and long. The only thing I don't like about getting oversized shirts is that the, the neck, neck is so big. Yeah. I know. Okay. okay. 
I'm stressed. I'm stressed too. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Where can I get started for you? Hi, um, can I get a grande ice caramel macchiato? Ice caramel macchiato? Yes. Alright, and that was a grande? Yes. Alright, it'll be 11.58. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I love that. He's like, I'm not. I'm not it. making it, so I don't care. I'm <laughs> here me. whether you order a long drink or not. She's wearing a little taekwondo outfit. The dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about the dog that I was seeing. Oh wait, the dog I was seeing was. Never mind. <laughs> there was like a kid. I'm gonna go to bed. There was a kid walking across, and you're like the dog. <laughs> oh, I couldn't see the kid. See, it's a martial arts place. Oh. And he was wearing like a little like martial arts taekwondo. Yeah, I don't know if or is taekwondo martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think so. We'll I took out. karate for like a month when I was little. Did you? Yeah, it was a white Why belt. Why did I never know? <laughs> Wait, you, you didn't know karate? Oh, my dad. It was a sensei at a karate studio. I knew that, but I yeah. didn't know you did karate. <laughs> he made me do it. He didn't make me. I kind of wanted to, did but then Aaron? he kind of yeah. I love me and, that. No, for me you. and her both did it, and we did it for like two months. I wanted to start it, but I did not want to finish it. But he kind of made me like go until I was really like, okay, I like still don't want to do this. Like at least like to make sure that I wasn't quitting before I even tried. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was a white belt, which does she um, look like the type to do karate? <laughs> no, that's so funny. I never knew that. But yeah, a white belt is the first one they give you. The yellow is the second. I never, you accomplished I, I never a got lot. to a yellow. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so. I don't know if my camera's gonna stay up here, um, but I just had Kylie try this, and I and they forgot to put coconut milk in it, and I was like, imagine it with coconut milk, and she goes, but imagine it with alcohol. No, like, just think about like you Malibu. On the beach. Yes. Oh. I'm telling you. Yeah. You just. <laughs> Burger. And she got spicy ketchup, which like I don't know what that is, Listen, but don't hate. I just am saying before you try. What do you eat it with? Um, literally anything. You can dip your burger in it. You can put it. So is it literally just hot ketchup? It's spicy ketchup. You'll see when you taste it. <gasps> I got onion rings, which aren't that special, but they're so good. <laughs> Mm. It's burning in my mouth. I got french fries and they dumped half of them in my bag. <laughs> they dumped my onion rings too. It's okay. And yes, before anybody judges me when I pull it out, I did get an entire little thing of mayo. <laughs> yeah, you're judging me for the spicy ketchup and you're, you got mayo for your burger. Speaking of my burger, we're gonna try. If I can get it out. I'm really struggling over here. This is a fat ass burger. I told you. You got a double too. <laughs> It's so big. They're oh my like god, I forgot to ask like... for the no tomatoes, ew. Oh, just I can take them off. Yeah, I'm not like, I'm not that weird about it. Yeah, like if there's like tomato residue, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> tomato <laughs> juice. Tomato juice, yeah. No, I don't mind. I'm not like that picky about it. I can't open this. But if they touch my onion rings, I might scream. So now we are going to take the mayo off of my. Get off! You're gonna try the spicy ketchup. Okay. I'm not opposed to it. It's just, I feel like it's. It sounds weird until you try it and then you're like, okay. Well, it's not even that I think it sounds bad. It's just that, like, I don't quite understand the point yet. I don't put it on my. <laughs> a lot of people will put it on their burgers, mm -hmm. but I only dip my fries in it. Uh oh. Because okay. sometimes it can be too much, but a lot of people love it. Like, Tyler, my brother, will buy bottles of <gasps> spicy ketchup. Oh. They sell it at, like, grocery stores. And he'll buy a whole bottle of it and use it on everything at home. How is it? <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not joking. I could eat this whole thing with mayonnaise. I used to, to give some background, I used to hate mayonnaise as a kid. I was at Miracle Whip, but then when I went to high school, they had like these chicken sandwiches and I didn't want to put ketchup on it. I put, so I tried, I put mayo on my chicken yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, so I tried mayo and mm -hmm. then I like became obsessed. Yeah, so it's so much better. Mm. I really am like I only eat ketchup on my fries mm -hmm. and my hamburger. But like, you know, how people will dip like chicken and ketchup, like Ricky <laughs> or Tyler. Yeah, like no. I literally, 
Some of my friends do that too. And I'm like, no, like barbecue sauce, honey mustard, ranch, ranch buffalo. I love there are ranch. so many options. Mayonnaise, mm -hmm. like why are we using Anything ketchup? Anything but ketchup. <laughs> Literally. Okay, I'm gonna stop rolling so that we can jam to some music, but I hope you enjoyed this mini mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, yes. I think. Oh, we were trying to decide on how you say it and we don't know. So let us know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Type it out in the comments. Yeah. Type it out. <laughs> Is it mukbang, mukbang, or mukbang. I'm pretty sure three is correct. I so tell so us too. one, two, or three. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Let three, us know. <laughs> let us know. Okay, so we're back at Kylie's house and I spent way too much money. <laughs> you got like one thing. <laughs> I literally got a shirt. Let me just show you guys what's sitting in front of me right now. So I unbagged it all because when I film vlogs, it's like really annoying if it's, I'm like rustling around getting everything out of the bag. So I just got everything out um, beforehand. So I'll give you a little overview. Yep, this is, mm -hmm. yeah. So I literally don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna try to go by store. We're gonna start with Ulta because I didn't get much there. I got this lavender whipped Shea body butter and I got it because it's the Tree Hut brand and I love their um, body scrubs. So I got this because I thought that it would just be a nice little pamper me thing and then it was also only like nine dollars so i was like why not and then i got the mini of the unicorn fruit um from truly beauty there you go and look at how cute the colors are oh my gosh i'm so excited to use this and i just got the little guy because it was still 20 freaking dollars and i figured i would just use this on the nights that i like I don't know like i said i wanted to pamper myself and then um we went to lush and they gave us a bunch of samples the girl that worked there was seriously so freaking nice and i also got this marilyn hair treatment so it is a softening pre wash i can't speak a softening pre-wash treatment with chamomile for blondes who want lighter brighter and shinier hair which <laughs> would be me <laughs> um so i got this as well and i'm super excited about it that one made me stop at marshall's and she didn't even buy anything <laughs> but i did yeah it was my idea to it go. was her idea and then i ended up i didn't spend a lot i think i spent like 15 dollars, but still so we walked by some bath bombs these were six dollars and it's a four pack and it has geranium honeysuckle lavender and peony and i'm almost out of bath bombs so i wanted to pick those up and then i found these and they're coconut and goat's milk and they smelled really good and these were seven dollars and then i also got this plush headband because i do have a pink one but i wanted a second one so that when i'm washing the pink one i still have one to put on when i'm washing my face and then okay into still somewhat body care but not i got this free this was free didn't pay for this <laughs> Um, from Bath and Body Works. I wanted the In the Stars one because as some of you guys know, it's like my signature scent. That's what I wear literally all the time, um, but they didn't have it. So Kylie said, this smells good. I actually never smelled it because I was in a rush because um, I was grabbing it while I was up at the counter and I didn't want to keep her waiting. Oh, this is, it's so summery. Okay, okay. this will be perfect for, you know, maybe when I'm at the beach. <laughs> Hence the name. That was so weird. But I got that for free and then these mini candles which are perfect for summer because i don't burn candles as much in the summer i got pink vanilla lilac and then ocean driftwood and um the ocean driftwood literally smells like men's cologne isn't that what mm -hmm. we said yeah and it smells so freaking good these were two for 20 and i had 20 percent off so all of this stuff was only 17 dollars. we'll do target so again kylie is a terrible influence <laughs> So she has this robe that she's obsessed with. So naturally I bought one too because she talked me into it. It's so yeah. soft. Yeah, it is really soft. I like was feeling hers earlier. So I got it in gray. I would have preferred it in black, but they didn't have black and I wanted it. So I just bought the gray one. Um, and I really like gray. So um, honestly, as long as it's any shade of darkness. <laughs> great to me so i got this and then oh i also got ricky a little um shirt they have these like men's cool summer shirts and he doesn't have like a plain black um short sleeved button up so i got him this because when he's going to work he wears these types of shirts a lot and i figured it would be nice and cool because i actually bought him one in like this creamsicle -y orange color and he really liked it so i got the black one h&m because this is 
the place that I bought the least amount of clothes from. Um, so I got this white little sweater. Um, I kind of wanted it in a large because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger, but it's okay because if I'm being honest, it's white, so I probably won't wear it that often. But listen, I had a reason for buying it. I bought it because I saw on Pinterest this girl wore like this cute little like golf outfit and she tied it around like her shoulders. And I know you guys are probably like, you literally bought that to tie around your shoulders, but listen, it was $12. So yes, I did buy it to tie around my shoulders essentially. And I can wear it if it gets cold, so it's fine. And then I'm very glad now that we're back that I ended up buying this because it's so soft. Mm -hmm. So I've wanted, I have like so many oversized t-shirts that I sleep in, but they're all kind of like those touristy, like I grab an XL t-shirt when I'm traveling and they're not like great quality. So I wanted a higher quality like graphic tee to wear with biker shorts or like black leggings. So I got this and I love this color. It was $17.99, which is why I was kind of like, do I really want to pay $18 for like just a t-shirt? But the material, it's like that Urban Outfitters material. If you guys know what I'm talking about. I feel like all the like bigger YouTubers have these t-shirts, but from Urban Outfitters that are like 50. And so this one was honestly a steal compared to that at least. Um, this is actually a small and it's huge. So obviously it's meant to be oversized. So, um, and then next forever 21. Oh, and when I was at target, I got some Reese's that I probably actually won't eat later now because I'll probably eat banana cake. Yep. Also, I don't know if you guys remember, um, a few months ago when I went to forever 21, I bought me and Ricky matching Corgi socks. <laughs> They had more corgi socks, so I bought us more matching corgi socks. <laughs> he doesn't like wear these out and about, but he does wear them around the house sometimes. Mainly when I'm like, I'm wearing my corgi socks. <laughs> AKA, go match me so I can be an obnoxious girlfriend. Um, but you literally just saved your carpets. <laughs> she has, don't spit it out and ruin it after you just saved it. She has a huge Coke, no. one that is this size from Whataburger. I am smart and got water because I know I'm clumsy. <laughs> no, I really just wanted water, but um, she has a huge, oh, it's Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. So whatever, and almost dumped it. So that is what you guys just witnessed. But, so I got these just because I thought they were cute and they're like a dollar, so why would I not? Then when we were at Forever 21, I also found this super cute little shirt and I thought it would be perfect to golf in. It is a little thick. I wish it wasn't so thick because once it starts to get hot out, it's gonna be a little spicy, but it has this little zipper that is super cute. So I'll probably wear it like a little bit unzipped, but It'll for the sake so of folding cute it. With a skirt. Yes, like this with a golf skirt and these. They're so cute. Are these not the cutest freaking things, you guys? Like, holy crap. These are absolutely adorable. Holy crap, this has become like a 10 minute haul already. I've been <laughs> vlogging for 10 minutes. Okay, like I will try. I know this vlog is gonna be an hour, but I mean, I've never posted an hour long vlog before, so I'm not mad at it. So then I also got this scarf because it was $3, which I'm gonna check my receipt to make sure it was actually $3. <laughs> oh, it was $5, good enough. Is this a five or a three? I feel like whoever was writing, tell me that does not look like a three. That's definitely, no, that's a three. <laughs> Whoever was writing their fives just decided to say it's not a five, it's a three. But, so I got this cute little like Lakers bandana because I thought that like I obviously, I'll pop up pictures of the way that I style like bandanas. I posted on Instagram a few times and I think they're so cute and fun to like wear. And if I do say so myself, I feel like I look great in them. Um, So I thought that this would be super cute to have. Oh, I was like, why does it say the curse? <laughs> I hate you. You need to go to bed. I only slept like six hours <laughs> last night. So, um, but anyways, long story short, I thought it would be cute for like a more sporty look. You feel me? Okay. Wow. Wait, this is actually condensing nicely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Besides the whole entire pile in front of you. <laughs> I know. I, I bought four pairs of jeans from Zara. And so that's not going to condense well if we're being completely honest. Dude, this bag. I did not check a bag when I came here, so I'm gonna have to carry all of this. <laughs> it's gonna be so heavy. It's fine, I'm strong. Okay, now into Zara. So I have never been to a Zara. I've never <laughs> ordered from Zara, but there's a Zara here and it was amazing. So I have yet to try these on. I didn't get to try them on in store, obviously, um, but I bought these sweatshorts and four pairs of jeans. So like I said, <laughs> I got these. <laughs> so casual. 
barbers. <laughs> Guys, I spent like five hundred dollars. All of that in barbers. <laughs> Listen guys, I don't have good jeans and I heard the Zara jeans were good so I bought four. <laughs> the best part is you think like, oh she tried them on and she really liked them. I'm just guessing here. My stomach hurts from laughing so hard. I'm crying. <sighs> just the way you were like, I got these shorts and four pairs of jeans. I got these shorts um, and they're like cute little sweatshorts and the reason that I was drawn to them is because they seem pretty long I swear to god you guys my butt hangs out of every pair of shorts I purchase <laughs> And so I thought that these would be nice because they don't look like my butt laying out of them So very cute. Um, I think that these will definitely fit and then okay. I lied I got two <laughs> pairs of jeans and two pairs of jean shorts so we'll start with the shorts. So I picked up these black ones. Oh, might I just say I entered the line with two <laughs> items. I was standing there and she was like, let me be right back. And I was like, okay, she's gone for like three minutes. <laughs> Comes back with like six more items. <laughs> Literally. So <laughs> I actually, you know what? Let's go in order of how I found them. So first we found these. Um, very cute, very stylish. I'm not sure if they're gonna fit, so I'll update you guys tomorrow. <gasps> they have a Zara thing on them. Wait, oh, that's, that's so cute. cute. I didn't notice that. Okay, so I'm really hoping these fit. Normally what happens is I'm not very worried about the shorts, to be honest. Normally what happens with shorts is they're not tight enough around my waist, but I feel like these come in pretty good, and I do have those button pins from mm -hmm. Amazon to, like, bring it in even more. So I feel like these will be fine. Then we found these, and I feel like these are so cute. And I just think that they're adorable. There are no rips. And the reason I wanted these is because I have jeans that are like mom jeans that have rips in them. But I don't have any that are like a lighter wash with no rips. So I really wanted these. But they only had a six. And my waist is a six. But sometimes my thighs, when it's jean material like this that doesn't have like any stretch to it, my thighs won't fit in a six. They need like an eight. Um, honestly, my waist is probably like a freaking four, but they don't make four waist, eight thigh <laughs> jeans. <laughs> it's like so annoying, guys. This is why I don't have that many pair of jeans, which is why I bought four. Um, so <laughs> I got these. Oh, I'll give you guys prices. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. So these were only $40. Come on, $40 for a pair of jeans. Like, and jeans are one of those things that you have forever. So, and then the shorts were, hello, $35. Tell me how. From here down is four dollars, but from here up is thirty-five. <laughs> make it make sense. They cut the, they cut those from jeans into shorts and just rolled them. Literally. Um, and then I left the line. I picked up these pants <laughs> that are literally the same pants, except these actually are hemmed at the bottom. The other ones are not hemmed. Um, I also got these in a six, and these were also $39.90 and have no holes. I'm very excited to try these on as soon as I stop blabbing. Um, and then, last but not least, I also found these, and Kylie told me not to buy them, but I did anyways. <laughs> She's half a good influence. She says, yeah, she says I'm the bad influence. So... But I feel like these will fit me, and I feel like these are more in. The jean shorts that I have right now are just uh, not it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to end the vlog here tonight, and I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Hello, guys. We are back, and it is now Saturday. We're in the car again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, we left off in your bedroom last night because I gave you guys a haul. Update. Unfortunately, the shorts fit incredibly you guys have probably heard me say that I get so sick of like shorts because they leave so much room in my waist and these fit so well but unfortunately they didn't fit right in the jeans it was just like I don't know it was very like weird proportions so I don't really know we're gonna return them and see if we can get some other ones in different sizes um and we're also gonna take some pictures I have like my little brown set on and I want to try to get some Instagram content while I'm here since as you guys know I work from home and never leave um, but I just worked this morning and we're gonna go to to the mall take pictures go to Zara and we want to stop back in forever 21 because yeah we need to spend more money <laughs> we didn't really get like time to look as much because the mall closed at 7 yesterday but it closed at 8 today also we're gonna stop by Bucky's <laughs> because I want a don't mess with Texas shirt I'm also if any of you guys are from Texas you know 
at Bucky's is like the ultimate gas station experience. So she will, <laughs> I'm showing her today. And like. we are also gonna stop at Starbucks after all of this because she has homework and I need to edit this video that will already be up so I'll link it above for you guys um, it is my one year anniversary YouTube video so I'm trying to get that edited so I'm so excited I can't believe it's one year. I know it's literally it's insane crazy. um so I'm trying to get that finished for Sunday to go up so we're gonna get some Starbucks and we're gonna try to stay up late and not be grandmas but I'm also gonna get some snacks when we go to Bucky's you're gonna not be the grandma yeah, I'm. you're not really a grandma. I'm the one that's a grandma, so she's gonna force me to not be a grandma. So that is the plan um, for this evening. And then tomorrow we're going to the freaking beach. Yes. I'm so excited. It's so cloudy and overcast, you guys. It's been so cloudy. It's so the cloudy. Last two days, and tomorrow it's supposed to be 85 and sunny. So. Yes, we are lit. I'm so excited. We're gonna take some cute beach pics too. Are we going to like a brunch place or something? Yeah. Or we'll a breakfast do, we'll, place? Yeah. We'll play it by ear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, yeah, like 75 gas pumps later. <laughs> you were not kidding when you said this place was huge. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Yeah. You were not lying. <gasps> Wait, why is this so big? What all am I gonna purchase in here? Am I gonna spend another $100? I had three tacos, but I ate them all, <laughs> and I forgot, so this is what's left. <laughs> okay, we are back for um, haul number two. I promise we're actually doing exciting things tomorrow, other than shopping and eating. <laughs> That's all we've done. That's literally all we've done. Had to give you guys another haul. Update, um, like I said earlier, the jeans from yesterday unfortunately did not fit, so I'll show you guys the new ones. I didn't give you guys the luxury of me taking everything out of the bag beforehand because I didn't get as much today. But I got these jeans from Zara and I got them in a size up so that hopefully they'll fit my thighs. But they're a little bit different of a wash, but I really like them. So hopefully they will fit. I, again, will update you. I'm going to try them on after. And then I also got this shirt for Ricky and look how cute it is. I'm literally obsessed with it he's gonna look so good in this in the summer so this is the two things that i got from zara then from forever 21 so i saw this jacket yesterday and i couldn't stop thinking about it so i got it when we went today and it is so cute it's just a little crop jacket and it's actually relatively thin for what it looks like and i know that you guys are probably like what the hell it's literally I almost said almost winter like what the hell it's literally almost summer or we're getting to it hopefully but it's still so cold in indiana so um for the cooler days i figured i could throw this on and then i also got these are from the kendall and kylie collection at forever 21 i did not even know that was a thing and they're literally skims knockoffs so ironic but um this is them they're almost like a towel material which is kind of weird but i feel like these are really cute like loungy shorts like you were saying about the zara shorts that we got yesterday and she went and bought the same shorts from zara because <laughs> she tried them on and liked them so much and so like they're like dr you can dress them up almost i feel like they can be loungy and they're really comfy those you can dress cute. them up those would be cute with like a white tank top yeah i mean or a black tank top or a black tank top. <laughs> And then the last thing that I got, I also feel like these could be super cute with like a black tank top or like a bikini or something. Um, I just got these like really cute, I want to say, what do you think this is? Like a marble? Yeah, I would say marble. Like a tan marble. And they're really cute, really soft, lightweight, perfect to make like a little cute just like thrown on fit for summer. Quite possibly the best part of the day. I will show you guys the food first so i got these like corn nugget things that are supposed to be like the chili and lime so we thought that they would be like takis they're kind of like if you put corn nuggets in an empty taki bag and then shook it around and called it a day <laughs> there's really not that much like stuff on them so they're just like i don't know i'd say like c plus yeah, you feel i would rate like a four out of ten. ten yeah they're like they're decent enough you can like eat them but like 
Mm. <laughs> but I also got Ricky some Bucky's beef jerky because he loves beef jerky. I got myself a little fudge and um, I was obsessed with popcorn balls when I was a kid. I don't know about you, but I always used to get them in um, trick-or-treating, oh, like yeah. Halloween, and I loved these things. So they were 99 cents, so I got one of these too. Um, and then last but not least, guys, I secured my Don't Mess With Texas shirt. This is the back, but I think that it might make it even better that there is Bucky on the front. I don't know if that's his name. Yes. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> Bucky the Beaver. Yeah. Is that what it is? Uh -huh. Or is it a woodchuck? No, is that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> Someone, please let us know. Is a beaver and a woodchuck the same thing? I, we're just gonna. I'll be back momentarily. <laughs> because like, how many woods can a woodchuck chuck? Or how much wood can a? How many? What is that saying? How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? How much wood? wood? Could chuck wood? But wood beavers chuck. also chuck wood, wood right? <laughs> I need to go to bed. Hold on. Well, they're both large rodents with brown fur and stocky bodies. That's where the similarities in appearance between woodchucks and beavers end. So no, they're not the same. So they're like chipmunks to squirrels. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. my stomach hurts so bad. Um, yeah. So. Got my Don't Mess With Texas shirt, very excited about it. And a few more things that I probably didn't need. Now we um, we also stopped at Dunkin' on the way back here, um, drank entire coffees, and both of us are still ridiculously tired and about to fall asleep. I'm going to attempt to take my makeup off and change and edit um, the video for Sunday, and we'll see if it goes up on Sunday or Monday. To be determined. <laughs> Good morning you guys, it is now, I almost said it's Sunday, it's definitely not Sunday, it's Saturday and we're in Galveston and we're going to a cute little coffee shop, like I said yesterday. Oh. <laughs> like I said yesterday, no, okay. Um, we are trying to figure out where to park, so we just parked and we're gonna walk, but look how cute it is over here. A wee bit sunburned. Um, we went to the beach for like an hour, hour and a half, maybe, yeah. and it got very burnt um, because the UV index was 10. And then we went and walked around those little shops. I got another t shirt that I didn't need. Um, what did we do after that? I think we just came back here. Yeah, we've just been chilling. We're just vibing. We're yeah, it was really fried. fun, but we, yeah, we are literally <laughs> fried. So now we're going to dinner. Um, I just have my Zara pants and this cute little Forever 21 top on. Um, I think cute. I got this from Abercrombie and these are from Zara. Yes, because that's our new favorite jean place. Yes. So <laughs> now we're going to dinner. I've been to this restaurant before last time I visited and they have these things called armadillo eggs and I know that like it sounds odd. You can explain. <laughs> um, they are literally just barbecued, like pulled pork, pulled pork in a jalapeno, Peño, and it's deep fried. fried. The best. I said I'm glad my Zara jeans have a little bit of room because then I can eat my armadillo <laughs> legs. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in the process of packing and um, I think that I purchased 
a little too much while I was here. I also bought a hair mask from Lush that I showed you guys um, the other day and I didn't realize it was seven ounces. I also bought a body scrub, no, a lotion that was eight ounces. So I have to check my bag. Oh my God, I didn't put any of that in the bag <gasps> to check. This is why we might literally have to go get a suitcase. I am not purchasing a suitcase. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. Okay, I think mission is accomplished. We still have some random things, but it's fine because I have this yellow bag. I'm gonna check that bag so I have that and then this that I can take on the plane. So all will be well. Good morning, you guys. It's now Sunday and I'm just getting ready to go to brunch right before I leave. I'm so sad my plane um, takes off at 2.15, so I'm headed to the airport by like 12.30ish. But I'm just about to curl my hair and then finish packing up. Um, I literally don't know how I fit everything because I purchased way too much while I was here. We're gonna go to brunch and I'm gonna be on my way home. It is a very sad time. We are on our way to the airport. We actually just got here, so she's dropping me off. I'm, I'm gonna miss so you. sad. I can't even reach you because this car is so big. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to the airport. She's about to drop me off, so I'm gonna end the vlog here, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully I will see Kylie soon. <laughs>